Hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Last time we launched Gichele Kerbin up to the stars and it is currently our job to immediately get to Gichele Kerbin and make sure she does what she needs to do. Oh, she's at quite a position right now. Okay, we will fly this vessel. Welcome, um, well not welcome back Gichele Kerbin. You've already, you were here the entire time, oddly enough. Gichele Kerbin. We are back. Fire off in that direction. We need to expand our orbit. We also need to be careful about not making too steep of an orbit. Because if we make too steep of an orbit, Gichele will die. And if Gichele dies, then I'm just gonna... You know, just the, the standard threat at this point. Computer out the window. I'll probably also, I don't know, grand arson like a petting zoo. Yeah. It's not gonna be good. All the little goats are gonna be running around like meh, meh, as of course I'm lighting the grass on fire. The sheep just going like meh, just in the corner, just eating some grass like, what's that guy doing? I don't know. Oh, it looks like he's lighting a fire. Oh, it's pretty bad for us, isn't it? It's like, yeah, you're a sheep. You're literally covered in wool. Wool burns really well. Mate, you're the ones who are gonna be doomed in this situation, mate. That's how it's gonna happen. The sheep are gonna be done. And the little calf there, just like chilling out, just being like, eh, you know, life could be worse. I could be a snail. And I respond to the calf with, what the frick are you on about? As I, of course, light the calf on fire as well. I had to make sure the calf got lit on fire. Look, it was the least likely of the creatures to burn. It just didn't have enough hair. Anyway. That, that's really secondary to the cause. Uh, Gichele Kerman, we have attempted to send you to the Mun because of a terrible issue uh, last episode revolving around the uh, solid fuel boosters not actually decoupling from the rocket. Oh, good God. We have not made it. Goodbye, final stage of the rocket. Go back to curb and where you belong, where you shall fall gracefully into the ocean to be destroyed in a hail fire of many little particles flying in all directions, which is really every explosion that's ever been seen. But you know, it's a thing. Is that a steep orbit? I'm concerned. Gichele Kerman, I'm concerned for your well-being. You should consider that to be a bad thing as well, because generally when I'm concerned for the well-being of my astronauts, they then proceed to die, which is never good. Okay, Gichele, science time. We may as well try to bring back something. And that's 1.8 science. Uh, Gichele, that is disgusting. Uh, that quantity of science is wretched. It's actually really bad. Uh, you really need to work on that, Gichele. Try to be better at science, Gichele. Just try a bit. Come on, mate. That's not acceptable. I gotta turn SAS off for the reascent. Reascent? That's not right. The descent. As we head back towards the planet. Okay, we have gone to one. We are turning off the SAS module. And floating gracefully. Do note. We are floating gracefully back to Kerbin. Uh, Kichele, that's quite an angle you're at there. Uh, that's not the angle we want. Oh lord, that, that's not the angle we want either. The craft is really responsive right now. There's next to nothing on it. Oh, you're dead on it, Kichele. What even? I mean, seriously, mate. What even? Kichele's dead now. I also knocked my chair over, so I'm now kneeling in front of my computer. It's terrible. Anyway. Good God, Kichele's dead. How have we failed so terribly at this? Don't even know, mate. Probably pick my chair back up. Ah, uh, we're gonna abort the mission. Return to the space center. Okay, okay, I'm back in my seat. It's fine, it's 
Fine! Good god. Can we even get another astronaut at this point? Not even close. Oh, god. The worst part of the entire thing is we now have to fly with Bill Kerman. Oh. Well, this this campaign has been quite a terrible move overall. And I know how to end it with a bang. And we're going to end it oddly enough with a bang. Um we're doomed. We're not going to be able to continue in the campaign. I've been very bad at the campaign every time I played it. I don't understand. I can make rockets, I can fly rockets, but I can't manage the finances. So here we go, we're gonna put this on here. Bill Kerman, I refuse to fly a single legitimate flight with you. <laughs> and this, this is what I mean by I refuse to fly a single legitimate flight with you. We're gonna call this one 10 feet under because that is where Bill Kerman is going right now. Bill Kerman, you're in the cockpit? Perfect. Let's just make sure everything goes according to plan. What we have is a liquid fuel booster and a solid fuel booster. You may be wondering, well, what in the world is he doing? And the answer is, my friends, I'm giving Bill Kerman the death he deserves, not the one he did, uh, I, anyway, he's gonna die. I'm gonna make him die, it's so bad. I, I can't fly with Bill Kerman. I can't do it. It's too terrible. The thought of it even. Save, launch. Prepare to die, Bill Kerman. Bill Kerman's like all of my friends. They've left the science center and they've never returned. Where have they gone, master? Where have they gone? And I'm just like, shut up, Bill Kerman. Fly into space, you fool. You're not going into space, just. Fair warning. You are going up and right back down. But we need to get you a decent ways up to make it a really nice landing. Look at him. He is quite concerned. One would have to ask why he agreed to actually get into the cockpit to begin with. Because he totally could have resisted the whole getting in the cockpit thing, which probably would have been the best move, given that, you know, this is not going to end well for him at all. Okay, we are at 8,000 meters. Bill Kerman, if you were to free fall from this height, mm, you wouldn't make it very far, would you, Bill Kerman? <laughs> Not far at all. Oh, God. Okay, let us... No, that's not the right direction. I want to angle kind of in that, that direction? That, that direction. Oh, let's just fire it. Go, Bill Kerman, not upwards. You're not going upwards. You're plowing into the ground, Bill Kerman. You're done! I don't want to fly with you! You're a cretin you are! Oh, it's really hard to control this thing. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay. We got it pointed downwards. Bill Kerman currently has no clue what's going on. Maybe they didn't tell him to begin with, but this is how it's gonna work. Keep it on track, people! Keep on track! We're speeding him up like nobody's business. He's gonna crash into the planet and it's gonna be terrible. There you go, Bill Kerman. Oh, look. Look, he's made peace with his current situation. He understands the reality. Oh, nope. There's the, there's the shadow of doubt coming back into Bill Kerman's eyes as he realizes precisely what this all means. Yes, Bill Kerman. It means you're going to die, Bill Kerman. You may or may not have noted that there isn't a single parachute on this vessel, Bill Kerman. You're doomed, my friend. You will die a terrible and sad death upon this rocket here. This is what you deserve, Bill Kerman, for all that you've done for us, which is pretty much nothing, and you haven't even done anything to us either. I mean, this is just kind of completely uncalled for at this point, but you're dying anyway. You're done, Bill Kerman. You are fired, my friend. Goodbye. Boom! <laughs> You know, after after the entire thing, after all the rockets we launched, I think it was worth it. It was worth it just for that one moment. 
where Bill Kerman splashed down on the beach and died a terrible death. Whew. Well, mates, um, this campaign is done and over with. However, given that this was, good lord, terrible, this campaign was disgusting, that is not it. That is not everything. We will, my friends, return later at a different time, in a different place. We're going to start a new, not in career, game mode science. In science mode, you must gather scientific data to research new technologies. Funds and reputation are disabled. No. No, we're going into sandbox, people. We're going to have our nice little flag. Accepted. Play a name. Vinrafel the Destroyer. There we go. Start. And we have now come to a new place in a new time where we are not limited by funds. Shut up! Where we're not limited by funds anymore. Where the entire space center is already created for us. Here we shall build great rockets and do great things! Good God. What should we do first? I think we personally, given the failure of our previous attempt to get anything into orbit around anything other than Kerbin, we need to make it our goal to go to every planetoid in the system. This is going to be particularly hard because I've tried to go to Pluto multiple times but didn't work out terribly well. Not very good at getting to Pluto, but we will do our best. So let's design ourselves a little rocket. What is that? Mark II Drone Corps? Oh, the things I don't even know what they are. Impressive. Okay, let's look at what we can build. Because now we have everything unlocked to us. We have tons of rockets. Tons of rockets. Like we got this rocket. Look, it's so much bigger than the rocket we were using before. Get out of here, rocket. We have, where's my favorite rocket? Do, is, is the favorite rocket here? The giant, oh. No? Is it under here? Is that it? Oh, I guess it's just a fuel tank. I love these things. They're really good for interplanetary flight. It's just a giant fuel tank. I thought it was actually a rocket. Never mind. Okay. So what shall we do? We are strapped for time at this moment. So let us build something simple. We're going to build for ourselves that it should not be the start of anything. We're going to build a small probe. So let's just do a Sputnik. We're f all familiar with the Sputnik. Let's put on it, can we put this guy on there? Oh yeah, that's nice, look at that. We're gonna throw that guy on there. We're gonna throw some solar panels on there. Let's see, so there are th solar panels that can extend and look really cool. These guys, three by two. Photovolatic cells. I'm gonna put it like this. Bada boom. Then we shall. Is that's. We just need something to make it look a little more interesting because we need a little, like, dish. Ra this little radar dish right here. Look at all the sciencey stuff. I didn't realize there was so much sciencey stuff to the game. Then again, we didn't get very far in the game to begin with because apparently I'm really terrible at launching rockets effectively when I don't have literally everything at my disposal. It's ridiculous. That is way too big. So big! Don't be so big. There we go, we're gonna put that there. Now let us put upon here, we need some fuel cells. Let's put these guys on. That should be simple enough. Put a couple of these, throw on a nice, rocket engine to get us into orbit. We'll put in another stack decoupler and we'll build a similar thing to what we built for most of our other rockets. Just because this is a simple build, we just need something to get us going to start out the science 
not the science, the space exploration, because there's going to be a large amount of space exploration. Given that our goal is to get to every single place, we're going to have to do a lot of work. These guys are fairly effective at decoupling things. I'd say much more effective than the previous decouplers we had. We'll attach that there. No, that is not at all correct. That was what happened with Gichele, which was terrible. We accidentally attached the rockets to the other rocket instead of the decouplers, which is, it's just the worst situation you can be in. All that you can think to yourself at the end of all of that is just, oh, I failed so terribly. <laughs> it was just so bad. Okay, let's see. We need something that has SAS capabilities because, dang it, it's really hard to fly these things when you don't have SAS capabilities. So let's see. Is there anything on here that has the SAS capabilities? Clampatron? Who knows what that is? I have no clue. We're going to have to examine it at some point. What is this? Remote guidance unit. That has... Oh, good. That's way too big. Yeah, that's decent. This one has SAS on it, meaning that it's assisted flight control, which should make it a lot easier for us to fly this properly into the sky. Then we just need some struts to make sure that these rockets don't destroy the vessel, because that'd be terrible. Where is that going to? Jeez, what a strut. Okay, we're gonna put another strut over here, and we're gonna put a couple more struts down here. Oh lord, it's so much nicer when we just have stuff to work with. When you can look at a rocket and think, my god, this thing is going into space. It's not going to crash and absolutely explode. Now I will note that if this crashes and absolutely explodes, Good God, I don't even know. <laughs> oh, that'd be so bad. I, I would I would shed a single tear of sadness. Okay. The Alpha Probe Extraordinaire. The, be the beginning probe, the first that we shall launch into space. Here we go. Launch. Away, Alpha Probe, away! Whee! It's going to fly up into space like nobody's business. Okay. Looks like a bit flimsy of a design, but it'll be fine, I swear. Three, two, one, ignition. Look at it go. It's actually not going as fast as I thought it would. Could probably have fit six on there. I don't know if six would have been overdoing it. I personally don't think that there's much overdoing it in anything, I mean. It's generally best to put as many rockets on the first stage as you possibly can. I say, as we have learned in the past, that that's probably not the case. God, it's losing control. I don't think I put anything on there to assist in our steering. Mates. With literally, and I mean with literally, unlimited resources, it appears I still cannot manage to not crash my vessels. Why? Why didn't I put anything to assist in it? I should have put RCS all over this thing. That would have been great. We are lucky that didn't explode. Come on, let's see if we can still get into space just a bit. Come on. No, no, that was terrible. Well, I'm gonna put it this way. They can't say that we didn't try. But they can say we did a terrible job of trying. Okay, so it appears um, I'm no better at um, creative than I am at the campaign. Which is, I guess, to be expected. It's pretty much the same thing. Just less science in this, in the, uh, in this one. Oh god. Goodbye, probe. I just detached that. Oh lord. 
Not a good idea. Fire the rockets! Get out of my face, you projectile! Look, it's flying down to the water now. Goodbye, projectile. Little probe, I know we had such high hopes for you, but you're not getting up into space, my friend. Oh, no, not at all. You may have had has... Ugh, you may have had SAS, but my friend... No, 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 no. Uh, that did not save you at all. At least I can do this. Oh, nope. Both of them have broken off as I attempted to extend them. Okay, we can't do that. Let's attempt to extend our little thing. Oh, at least we can do that. Look, imagine how glorious it would have been if it actually got into orbit. But now it's going to blow up. Goodbye. Mm, good God. Well, in the very least, we can understand that this was a great learning experience and next time I'll actually have <laughs> I'll actually spend a good amount of time building a rocket that actually works. The first probe that we shall launch, which will probably be a probe, will be launched to the moon, which is we can't see the moon because it's daytime and it's hard to see the moon when it's daytime. We'll launch an orbital probe around the moon so that we can, you know, say we've been there and then maybe try to land on it. Or go to Mars. Who knows? Anyway, regardless, thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of your day.